my mine is masters by coursework not by masters by research you have to do internship for basically 200 hours in 2 years they will allow you to come here but the thing is after that we have to do skill assessment if i'm talking about country then i was considering germany but the thing which i came to know was that i will have to learn german for it the teachers they are they are very good they, they will really help respond you on time. yeah they will respond on time they will be quickly reply to your emails Hi guys, hi, hello, welcome back to the video. This is your Caps Vlog, and finally we are back with small podcast kind hello. of videos. And we are back with Gurudev. First yeah. of all, thank you so much for coming. You're welcome, you're welcome. Very appreciated to join you. Are, are. <laughs> so basically, in this video, what we are going to be talking about is he's a student and he came six months ago, and this is RMIT by the way. Yeah. But we are going to be probably talking on the course majorly so that anyone who's coming to any university can understand what this course is all yeah, about. Yeah, definitely, it will be really helpful for the future students. So basically the topic of today is, is uh, Masters of Mechanical Engineering because he's a student of this course and if you can share some of the information which is mm -hmm. something that was not out there when you were actually looking for this yeah. course sure. and we'll be going forward step by step. Okay. So first, um, if you can share about what's your uh, background, background like yeah. in various. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. So like, um, after school, I did my bachelor's in mechanical and automation engineering, mm -hmm. and it was a four-year course. Yeah. And after that, I was also having a four-year experience in HVAC field. Yeah. So, like after that, then I chose to pursue masters in mechanical because since I have already background in mechanical, so I thought this, this will be best rather than other courses. And uh, like one of the things which I noticed was after coming here, which I noticed, I, like uh, at the time of applying, I was not aware about that. But after coming here, I was told that there is a module called APP module. And what happened is that like during your course, like my mine is masters by coursework, not by masters by research. So there will be two courses, by the way. In masters by coursework, you have to um, like you will be having work limit of 24 hours per week. Yes. So we can say 48 hours per fortnight. But in masters by research, you won't have any limit, any so work it's limit. Li it's similar to like a PhD. Yeah, it's similar to PhD, but but it will be more tough. And the thing is, like the only plus is that you won't be having any uh, like hours hour limit, so you can work. So your better. course has research and course for course. no no mine it is only has course. Yeah yeah, it's only has course. And it's, it's called Masters of Mechanical Engineering. Yes, yeah, work. Yeah, exactly. According to Krakos. Exactly, exactly. And uh, another thing was there, which I came like uh, which I came to know after coming here was there is a module called EPP, mm -hmm. and what happened is that basically Australia. It doesn't recognize Indian universities. It, it like it takes Indian universities, but like when, um, what can we say? Like there's a um, like organization called Engineers Australia. Now that only accepts uh, univers uh, degrees from Europe and America, and which are Washington Accord universities. So like your degree has to be Washington Accord Accord as per them in order so that they can ass assess them accordingly. But if you have if you don't have the degree from Europe or Washington Accord University. And then what what you have to do is like you have to uh, like you have to do internship for basically 200 hours in two years, mm -hmm. and if you are not able to do that, then they won't be giving you degree. So that's a twist here which I didn't knew, and after coming here we came to know about that. So uh, that thing was there, and other thing is like some universities are there in India, like the basically tier one universities which are Washington Accord, yeah, which are recognized and acceptable. Yeah, and acceptable by the uh, engineers Australia basically. Okay. So, and Engineers Australia is the organization which allots which do the, the which, yeah yeah which do the skill assessment of students if they are eligible to be in that university or not. Yeah, like they will they they will allow you to come here, but the thing is after that we have to do skill assessment. Yeah, for the PR and yeah, ex exactly exactly. And if you don't have the Washington Accord University, then you like there is a mandatory uh, internship which you have to do, and if you won't be doing to it to cope up that particular to cope up that particular part. part. Yeah, there is two options. Either you have that particular. Uh, university according to their work Washington yeah yeah Washington Accord approved, yeah right? uh, Washington Accord approved yeah and that should be a bachelor's university exactly if you are coming not from that yeah in the later run you need to have an internship that's called yeah that to in that to, that, that internship should be in Australia like it okay. should not be somewhere else well okay so this is how everything but we'll go step by step so yes this was all your background yeah if you will start then there will be so many universities when you started. Yeah. Then why did you particularly choose RMIT as an 
Oh, uh, why? And what were the other options? The other option was Germany, but uh, like, or like the whole country. Yeah, the other uh, option, like if I'm talking about country, then I was considering Germany. But the thing which I came to know was that I will have to learn German for it. So it would have been another hurdle for me. So I thought, okay, let's skip the Germany because I, I was already, I, I'm already having some experience. I didn't want to do waste more time in that. So I thought, okay. Then other thing was uh, like another country was there, like US. It's too tough to go in. The Canada was there, but they are also having very high, like the number of universities there are very limited. So, and if they are having universities now, they are having high, high restrictions of coming, like they don't accept everyone. So that was there. And so the only option left was either like the Malaysia countries or the Australia. So I thought, okay, like uh, let's go with Australia for that. And in that they will be giving us work visa after the, uh, after our studies. So that was a pl plus point. Calculatively, Australia will give you more work. Yeah, yeah exactly. Work exactly. Visa years than, yeah, exactly. Uh, Germany ex ex exactly, exactly. So this was one of the reasons why. Yeah, I yeah. Then, then uh, like uh, in Melbourne, that, then there was Melbourne or a regional area. There was, uh, it was there. But the universities in regional area, they don't respond very quickly. So you will have to wait a lot of time. And the other thing was that this RMIT, this, they, respond, they respond the fastest. And also, like there are other universities as well as such as group of eight universities, but the cost of them is very high. They all of, most of them have these masters of mechanical engineering. Yeah, most of them have. Okay. Like there is University of Adelaide and Adelaide, uh, and there is there is University of Perth, I guess. Um, but it, it is like they, those universities are way too expensive. So then there is University of Melbourne. It is also way too expensive. So I thought, okay, like then. So I thought, like, okay, I have to choose one university which will be best suitable according to me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, RMIT. I I, I checked the fees there, and there's like although their fees is really high for international students as well. Comparatively, it was yeah, but comparatively, it was cheaper than them. So I, I was like, okay, let's choose Melbourne. So I went with RMIT. So the next part, which is the major part of this okay. in, uh, video. Because most of the students don't know, and you would probably don't know what's mm. the actually core structure was okay. there when you were. Um, but and now here. you're here. And yeah. Now you're learning. What's the actual, yeah. actual core structure? Core structure they teach. Mm. Okay, so I will like just give a brief introduction about the subjects. So the subjects, uh, basically, who, uh, whoever has done bachelor's in mechanical, they might relate to it. So the f like few subjects are thermodynamics, which everyone can relate. So they are basically teaching more advanced systems. Now uh, many like. Also, and also, I would like to highlight one misconception which many people are having that since mechanical engineers will be like, you know, they might be working in automotive and, uh, and repairing cars or everything, but no, it's not the case. Uh, what happens is like in mechanical engineering, you will be designing stuff and you will be calculating the sh uh, stress on the parts. Like, exactly. yeah, 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 like how the fluids are flowing between a pipe. Like, I, I'm just so giving an example. That's a particular niche part of this yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, people exactly. Are usually mixing with. Automobile engine. Yeah, exactly. It's not a complete automobile. There's a lot of segments there. So that thing and then you will be uh, working like working on thermodynamics, advanced dynamics, like advanced dynamics is totally related to automobile segment. But yeah, it's way too, too tough. It's not easy here. Mm -hmm. So like the, my initial reaction after like uh, going through the subjects was like, yeah, it is tough because after having almost four years of gap, I was not used to getting like who used to study. So, so you just to be free, you worked in those particular four years? Yeah, I was working. I was so this was one of, one of the points as well that if you are working, then you can obviously cover that gap year. Yeah, exactly. If, 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 but if, we are not moving hmm. forward on that because it's hmm. going to be so long and exactly. I have made videos on that. But anyway, yeah. um, but if you need related information to that, comment them below. Yeah. But coming back. So the core structure, I'll be continuing hmm. that. Hmm. What are the other subjects that you would love to highlight at least briefly because we have okay. other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so like there is thermodynamics, there is advanced dynamics. There is now like since I will be going in sec second semester now there there are some uh, theory subjects as well which are rel relatively easy. You just have to go through the theory and you just have to do, do the assignments uh, like sustainable engineering, sustainable management is there, risk management is there. So they are, those are basically easy. But few like one or two subjects will be there which will be very tough and you will have to put your brains in it to complete it. Talking on that, mm -hmm. the next point is how the teachers and professors are. The teachers, they are, they are very good. They, they will really help respond you. Respond on time. Yeah, they will respond on time. They will be quickly reply to your emails. And if someone is very studious and he really wants to study, so he can excel easily. Like they won't create a hurdle for it. And assignments? They are tough. They are tough. They will. You need to actually put effort in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You need to put actually put effort. You need to put invest time in it. So it's not like uh, anyone can come, like anyone can enroll and just do the work, like uh, the part-time jobs. They will have to put hours in. Like it's yeah, it like it it does takes time. This Excellent. course. So I would love to highlight. I would love you to highlight some of the information on that. Mm -hmm. That 
uh, I believe, I'm not sure. Mm. The core structure is going to be pretty much same or similar with other universities as well because when you search, yeah, 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 it, it is, it is similar, it is similar. Okay, this was one of the so it's just according to the budget and other aspects, the person can decide whether he or she wants to choose RMIT or not. Know? Yeah, but the course will be quite similar. Yeah, it will be similar to exactly. Okay. Rest of all, it's all about the ranking of the universities, so that's yes. why they have increased their fees. Depends on that, yes, and mm. the fees, the mm. next part, mm. what's the fees. So my total fees is around uh, eighty thousand dollars, which comes to approximately forty-four lakhs, I two guess. Two years. Yeah, two-year course. Uh, yeah. It's not completely two years. It it will be like completed in one year and eight months. And then the less of the part. Yeah, I mean technically. Yeah, technically two years. Yeah, yeah. Ex days in between. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Makes sense. So the point is, you can obviously check your website. Then mm. in. in uh, or the university's website to check the exact fees. Yeah. Increases every and yeah, every year they are increasing. Every year, every, year, every, year. every year they are increasing it, and also the visa fees is also increasing. By the way. Next point is, hmm. what are the future pathways that lead? Yeah, the future pathway. It's it uh, like, like it's the job role It's actually role. depends on the person to person, like which segment they are targeting. If I will highlight, if someone is doing just for the PR, then please don't do it because. Any person, he will be like completely unaware that what segment he he will have, but like what industry he should target. You know, because I have met some students and they are like, bro, what like what uh, opportunities will we get in future? So they are quietly like they're uh, quietly uh, like unaware of that. So I would like to highlight like if someone is coming for masters, then they should know like what industry they will be targeting. That's one of the. From the initial end. Yeah. From the initial start. Yeah, from the initial. Yeah, exactly. That what they want to do in future. That that they should know. Because this particular field. Comes with multiple variations. Yeah, 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 exactly. Can you exactly. name some of the job roles that are see? Active? Like one of the basic thing which everyone knows from mechanical is going in automotive. Now the thing is going into automotive is not that easy. You need to have a lot of projects. You need to have credentials from other people. Like basically, you should have done internships somewhere. You should have done some projects, and you should uh, like participate in other events as well. Such that if someone goes through, like if someone, if like for example, let's take me, I go through an interview, and there's a guy who is taking my interview. He should know that yes, I have done some work. Yeah. So that's one of the industry. Then then there is, uh, I will say, tool industry is there too, where you have to design the tools. Then the hydraulics industry is there. Then uh, other than that, there's HVAC field, there's consulting field. Uh, and then lastly, there is uh, mining industry as well. But uh, it, it's quite tough to get in that. Okay. So, um, talking on that, how about the job opportunities? What you felt or yeah. thought? Of uh, it's uh, like of. job opportunities. There are quite less. As I was like, uh, I was thinking there might be more because the course at the time was in demand. And I was thinking that there will be a lot of jobs, but it's not true. Uh, there are like quite at hard. least on the current basis. Cu on the current basis, the jobs are very less. And uh, like if if someone is if there is a vacancy, there will be like ten vacancy, but a lot of people will be will be applying. Okay, and the companies are also less in here because Australia is not very uh, having that you know manufacturing base here. So it's totally dependent on construction segment. But how much it? Uh, goes forward, and that's how you. They are more mechanical engineering get hired. On. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, unless the Australians they pursue more towards manufacturing segment, then only mechanical engineering is in. Is, is it's going to be booming. Yeah, it's going to be booming. Okay. Otherwise, uh, it will be having a constant rise. Okay. So till now, hmm. what's your personal experience? If you can just brief about it. Uh, about everything, study Australia. Okay. Uh, Till now, I, I will say, yeah, it's quite a good experience. Uh, every, I guess, yeah, people should come here and enjoy the life how it is outside India. Because uh, in India, you won't. Uh, it's like, not only about India; it's about hmm. any, any anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. I will say Mel Melbourne. Uh, in uh, like Melbourne, to be frankly, is quite livable. It's a very lively city. You will get to meet a lot of uh, other ethnic people from other ethnicity, other like other uh, cultures. So one will really get more if someone is introvert back in his home. He will really get, become extrovert here. That's for sure. Then that's a good point because yeah. it's going to be helping you yeah. in the networking. And, uh, yeah, and exactly. And network so. networking is the, is the main thing here. If someone is like not doing networking, then he won't be any like it. It won't be good for him as well. So okay. it, it like it's better to try to meet as many people as possible. For the better. For better, for everyone better, man. Okay. Well, thank you first of all. Yeah. For information thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I was about to ask you for the PR aspect, but why mm. I'm not asking is because it's just six months for you. Yeah. yeah so you're yeah, still yeah. learning. So exactly. It won't be the correct question for mm. you. Yeah. And but if you still want him to answer, probably we can call him mm. again. But make sure to comment them below. Mm. Comment below that you need more 
videos with this guy. Yeah, sure. Get there definitely, me. definitely. And also, uh, if you're free, I would love to get your Instagram or LinkedIn in the description. Or yeah, in, it's so like, that everyone who wants yeah. to have a chat with you can yeah, actually DM. Definitely. You're free even with yeah, definitely. It's Gurudev.01, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it. So, thank you so much. And thank you so much for coming. All right. Here, first of all. Sure. And, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. And uh, I would say if you need more videos on different topics, Keep me posted, comment them below, just DM me on Instagram, link is in the description. Yeah. Join the Telegram group because there's almost 3,000 people, more than 3,000 people now. Yeah, exactly. With them. And just like the video if it's understood any point, share this video. Drop with your a friends. comment, do like, share and subscribe. <laughs> and subscribe <laughs> to this channel. So, see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye-bye.